So, for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you guys about how I started my channel and tips on editing and how you can make your videos a little bit different from other people. If you care about that stuff, uh, continue watching. Okay, so I have it all on my phone. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> so I have it written down on my phone, so if I keep looking over there, that's fine. But I started my channel last year, so it's been over a year, and I made a video on my one year anniversary, so I'll link that down below. But I basically made it because I've always been obsessed with filming and photography, so I kept being told that I should make a YouTube channel, and obviously, when you first do it, you're always skeptical, like, oh, what are people going to think of me? But I just did it anyways, and I'm really happy that I actually did. I used to film literally everything. I used to take pictures of nature, pictures of our dog. Um, I take off guard pictures of my mom. And then whenever I figure out how to film and what filming was, I started filming tutorials for Rainbow Loom. If you don't know what that is, those are those rubber band bracelets that used to be super popular like a few years ago. Me and my sister were obsessed with those, so I used to film these tutorials on our little iPad and I used our tripod, which was a little step stool, and my lighting system was a Tinkerbell lamp. But I just used anything that was around me just to film. That's what I like to do. And obviously nobody saw those videos because that's really embarrassing. <laughs> But it was still really fun to film. Whenever I got to high school, I ended up deleting it because I didn't want people to see it. But here we are in high school, and I have a YouTube channel. And since I started my channel, my editing has been so different. Like, I figured out so many different websites and apps and just techniques that you can use to make your videos different than everybody else's because unique videos are what people like. So, whenever I found all that out, it just made a huge impact on my life because I knew that I could just let my creativity flow throughout all of them that I really love doing. So whenever I finally made my channel, I posted a skincare routine. It started out with just like a few people on my color guard team telling me that they liked my videos or they thought that they were like cute. And from there, now there's almost 260 people that are subscribed to my channel. That's pretty crazy. Also, thank you for that. Thank you for almost 260 subscribers. So now I have a little surprise. I'm making merch. I have shirts coming out, sweatshirts, long sleeves, hats, and stickers. So I wanted to make all about like positivity and happiness because that's what I tried to put out into the world. But I have a plethora of different colors and different sizes and there's different designs too. I'm just really excited to show you guys. I really hope that you guys like my items. I spent a lot of time on them and I spent a lot of time working on this website. So if there's any small YouTubers that would want to help promote, spread the word for my merch, DM me on my Instagram. I'll leave it down below. So yeah, that's my surprise. <laughs> So now I'm going to be telling you guys tips on like starting a channel or tips on how you can make your videos more unique. So I would say do not care what people think because I've heard that from so many people like Oh I don't want to start a YouTube channel because I don't want my friends to like think that I'm weird or I don't want people to go make fun of me. That's it. No. I don't have time for that. Do it if that's what you want to do. They're just trying to bring you down and don't let them bring you down. Shove it in their face. No, you're doing it for you. And obviously, you aren't starting the channel to impress them. You aren't starting this channel to. Once I got over the fact that, like, people are always gonna have their own opinions. Not everybody's gonna like you. You're gonna get disliked sometimes. Once I got over that, I really enjoyed it just a little bit more. So enough with the Oprah Winfrey. Enough with the trying to preach out here. Let me help. Let me give some tips for cool fonts and like having those cool texts on either thumbnails or your videos or anything. I would advise using DoveFont.com. I would advise that because it's free and because it's easy to download them. And I'll put a few examples of like fonts that I like to use on the screen.
If you guys would like a tutorial on how I actually save them and use them, then tell me in the comments down below. Now, for the music, I either look up like aesthetic audios or popular non-copyrighted audios or stuff like that. And I look that up on Spotify or on YouTube. And I usually download it from YouTube, which this is the website that I use. And I've just used it for so long that I don't know how to use any other one. <laughs> So whenever you download these, it goes directly to your iTunes for Apple, but it would go directly to your music player on whatever computer you have. Now, green screens are a huge thing that I use. I get all of mine off of YouTube, and I also get like overlays either like on Pixar or I find them on Google, but it makes the video so much better, I think. Now, while looking up green screens on YouTube, you can type in literally anything and it'll come up. Like you can type in like sunflower green screen and it'll come up and the way that I do it is I like screen record it and then I just crop it in iMovie which is what I use to edit. Like I said earlier, if you want like a full in-depth tutorial on how I do all that then tell me in the comments down below because I can make a whole video talking about just how I edit. Here are a few examples of popular songs that are used in a lot of videos. I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you Feeling good, like I should When in the blue walk around the neighborhood Darling, you And when making your like YouTube banner or like logos or anything, I would advise using Bonto because there are so many different tactics that you can use and I don't even know it's endless. You can add curves, you can add backgrounds, you can make blurry, you can make straight, anything. Anything you want to do, Fonto's got it. And it's an app on the App Store. And also the way that I write on my videos or I like do outlines for my thumbnails, I use the app Sketchbook. I really like it because I'm able to use a stylus pen and just like draw whatever I want and then I can make it a green screen by just making the background green and then I can add it on top of my videos. And the last thing that I'll be talking about is making that like wave effect that everybody has on their videos. I guess you can use that in Final Cut Pro, but if you're trying to do it in the freeway, I use Video Star. They have a preset on there that's just called Wave. So here's an example. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative to you. I hope that you buy some of my merch whenever it comes out. I will be setting like a date when it's actually going to come out. So stay tuned for that. Please check out the rest of my videos because I think that they're pretty cool. And you might as well subscribe because it's a